hi Alex and Mitch um, very quick video I'm so sorry it's actually not as clean as we thought it would be um, so quick walk around uh, just to clarify um, this is the ST line uh, it does have front and rear parking sensors and the darker glass around the back um, just gonna go have a quick walk around it's not as clean as one would want uh, we do do a smart repair on the car so things like stone chips and all of that will be done um, we're literally next to a road and um, unfortunately it gets filthy but having a look around the car I can't technically spot any marks or dents uh, massively uh, alloys look actually perfectly fine that's just a, a dirt so that's not a scratch at all or scrape um, all of these cars are fully serviced just to let you know before it goes out um, um, and again it's the chrome blue color so from an angle it looks gray from an angle uh, it looks dark um, Again, uh, just to let you know, th these are tyre soap, by the way, just to let you know, so they're not actually scuffs. Um, there's no scuff on these, I think we would have done the alloys, and by the looks of it, uh, that's a new tyre. Um, so, again, front and rear parking sensors uh, that come up on the SYNC 3 with, uh, with the navigation as well. Um, looking at it again... <laughs> Okay, that's not a stone ship. It's in decent nick for for the age. Uh, I don't think there's any massive dents or scratches. I believe this was a PCP return as well. So um, the customer's had it for a couple of years. Part exchange, they got another car. Again, very good tread on the tyres. I don't know if you can see. Uh, nothing major here. There's a couple of bits. Actually, there isn't too much. Isn't it just needs a clean there will be a couple of bits we will sort out uh, we have our workshop uh, and the body shop look at these anyway so there's just one here which is a I don't know if you can just see it slight line there my nail isn't going in which means this will be polished off that's all I would like to say so I'll do the inside now um, uh, I'll chop it. It will be easier um, electric windows all around um, this does not have folding mirrors um, it does have cruise control uh, it does have a speed limiter as well push button start that down. It's got five miles typical sales um, and again it does have speed recognition at the bottom right corner um, and yeah so it's as as it as it could be um, navigation system with uh, you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's a USB connector there, and there's a USB hidden here somewhere. Which, if I can move this, there it is. Uh, you do not have wireless charging in this car, but you do have uh, the front and rear parking sensors, heated windscreen, uh, all of that's there. Uh, you do have the SOS button, which means there's a modem in the car with Vodafone. You can then lock and unlock the car with your mobile phone if you wish to. Um, obviously, you can see how many miles you've done, and when the service is due, all the service history is there. Um, and obviously, that can be uh, you know, controlled here as well with the lane keeping. In terms of the condition of the car inside, um, as I said, it's a PCP return. Um, the rear seat's up technically not been used by the looks of it um, again it's a PCB return someone's done 9,638 miles part exchanged it probably got another car to be honest uh, and looking at the boot it does have privacy glass obviously there should be a spare wheel in there now, I'm hoping you've actually test driven and seen a focus uh, there is a spare wheel all the tools are underneath there uh, I don't know if you can see from this angle, there it is. So, um, this is the ST line. Now, uh, I'll send you the video of the, um, video of the Titanium X soon. Thank you very much. Bye.